Right now is 540 on your Monday morning. Hopefully you had a nice weekend and kind of dodged the raindrops over the weekend. Uh, yesterday we had many hours. We had the sunshine. Some of us didn't get any rain at all, uh, but there were some of us also that picked up a lot of rain in a short period of time and some thunderstorms as well. And that's going to be the theme again today as we take a look at our four, four box across Western Mass. Uh, the theme similar temps near 70, lots of clouds, a little bit of thin fog with visibilities actually don't look to be too bad here. These clouds will thin out, giving way to some sunshine. So the week ahead, it is an unsettled pattern with showers and storms around and lots of humidity as well. Uh, so it's certainly going to be feeling sticky uh, and that will help to instigate a few showers and thunderstorms. Here's a look at your 24 taking us through mid morning temperatures in the lower 70s, clouds, some sun, maybe just a spot shower over the next couple of hours. As we get into the afternoon, our shower and thunderstorm chances begin to go up. Uh, this particular model not showing a whole lot here. Thunderstorm across Worcester County, but keep in mind really at any point this afternoon, one of these thunderstorms could pop up and they do have the potential to bring some strong gusty winds and some, of course, the heavy rain and the lightning associated with it as well. So I think the aerial coverage this afternoon is isolated to scattered. So some of us might not get wet and there'll be many, many hours where it's not raining. Not quite out of the woods this evening as well. We may have dying thunderstorms across New York State make their way into the valley this evening into the overnight as well with some rumbles of thunder and some heavy downpours. So you get the picture. It is going to remain unsettled, not just for today, but for the next several days. In terms of severe weather today on that one to five scale, the Storms Prediction Center puts out, we're at a one, meaning a marginal threat. You get down towards New York City, it's a two. In the mid-Atlantic, that's the bullseye. They're actually in an enhanced risk. That's a three on that one to five scale. But nevertheless, an isolated strong to severe storm cannot be ruled out. Currently, we're sitting at a mild or warm 70 degrees with dew points hanging out in the 60s. And get used to that. The dew points are going to be staying in the 60s, not just today, but like over the weekend, you could feel the mugginess come up. And we're going to stick with the muggy conditions all the way through this upcoming week. Although perhaps by the end of the week, our thunderstorm chances might, to come, might start to come down a bit. So right now, things are quiet. We just have a couple little spot showers across southern New England. Not much here out across the Cape, maybe just a little spot shower, but we have a couple things going on. We have high pressure well offshore. That's helping bring in a southerly flow. We have this upper level of disturbance off to the west. That also is helping with the southerly flow. And keep in mind, that brings in all that moisture. And then you get these little weak systems that rotate through. They're weak, but they don't have to be strong when you have all that moisture to help instigate some of the showers and thunderstorms. So this actually takes us into tonight. So we're going to have an isolated to scattered storm around, but across New York State and again to the Mid Atlantic, nasty storms, and they'll be heading our way overnight tonight, but like uh, most likely kind of falling apart as they do so. But we can't rule out a thunderstorm tonight as well. Then tomorrow we'll likely do repeat the process all over again. We have clouds, we have some sunshine with perhaps some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. I think our severe chances tomorrow a little bit lower than today, but we highlight tomorrow in red and Wednesday as well because it may end up being a first alert weather day with still the potential of a strong gusty thunderstorm. So highs today, Generally speaking, low, maybe even some mid 80s. We hang on to sunshine long enough. It's going to be humid. The wind will be light when it's not storming, and that'll create a little bit of sea breeze activity along the shoreline where it'll be in the 70s there. But everybody's going to be humid. Same air mass tomorrow, probably just a few more clouds around. That might keep the temps down just a couple of degrees, but the thunderstorm chance is still there. And really, that's the, the probably the case by the end of the week, too. Still the chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, although our chances might be a little bit lower. And the weekend right now, still rather up in the air, but let's put on some humidity. Highs near 80 and maybe still the chance of a storm or two. All right, now the check of the forecast in a couple of minutes. David, back to you. Dan, thank you.